people. Y'all all y'all all stepping, huh? I'm f with it. Right this way, boss. Bring me your car. Excuse us, guys. Right this way. Where Derry at? I don't know. Alright. But you don't like Linda. What do you mean? No, you don't. No, you don't. Yeah, you don't like Florida or Linda. No, you don't. EJ do the trash talk, make you miss boxing. You ready to come back? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I ain't gonna tell y'all what he told me on the phone, What'd I say? Y'all was kicking Frank ass and you only hit him once. What's up? Happy. What? Where is it? Where is it? Show, show the video. What you say? You got videos of everything. Errol Spence Jr. has thrown his name into the clash between Frank Martin and Gravana Davis. Now we know Martin and Spence go back a long way. I mean, they basically trained together, so you just know the truth was going to be backing up his guy. But let me remind you who stands on the other side of this battlefield. Trust me, you don't want to be on the bad side of Gravanta Davis, because let's just say most guys tend to hit the canvas when they're on thin ice with him. But it's too late for that. Errol and Gravanta are already taking shots at each other. And the reason why is that Errol Spence Jr. believes Frank Martin has what it takes to hand Gravanta his first loss. Yep, that's right. And he's not just saying that because they're pals. He stands by his statement. And if you know how Spence rolls, you know it can't get more real than this guy. So when Errol Spence drops a bombshell like this, he means it. See him get his hand raised. I mean... I feel like he he he's the most skilled, talented fighter that that take every fault. Like it's one of those he can't he can't take those early rounds off and feel like he's gonna come in the seven, eight round and hope for a knockout. I feel like Frank gonna dominate him first through twelfth round and win a fight. I mean Tate gonna put up a fight. You know, he's a great fighter, but I feel like <clears throat> Frank definitely gonna take it. I feel like He's the best fighter. He's the fighter. He's going to see the speed. He's going to see the, the strength. He's going to see the power that Frank brings to the table on fight night. And Errol is not one to just talk stuff online. No, he did all the talk to Tank's face when the opportunity came. Are you here for a change? Errol, what have you been telling Frank in preparation for this fight week? Just stay focused, stay hungry, stay dedicated. And it's all about the grind. That's what he's been doing. That's how he gets to this point. He's been focused. He's been hungry. And he's been, he listened to his game plan. He's been, he's been working, staying focused, listening to the game plan, going over his instructions. And I believe that he's going to come How you know that? How do you know that? How you know that? How you know that? Because y'all don't be in the same place at the same time. Yeah, I know all his sparring partners, nigga, and I talk to him. So what you mean? <laughs> you know they asked him. And you know it too, cause you, you, know you are one of his spawn partners on Instagram, like a little girl. You said what? You are you one of his spawn partners on Instagram, like yeah, a little girl. I follow him too. I follow him too, and that nigga, is, I, I keep saying, it, my bad. He is ass. He is ass. I don't know about you guys, but Frank Martin seems pretty sharp to me. You can't deny this man has a great physique. He's quick. He's shifty. And he has got that one bang power that could phase Tank in the heat of the battle. And not to mention he's got Errol Spence is helping him train. Hey man, I'm working. But he working, man. He working, man. That sucks. Get it in, in, bro, bro. No, no. Now that's got to give Martin a good amount of confidence going into this fight. And that's exactly what you need when you're locking horns with Gervonta Davis in the ring. Plus, you heard the man. He's expecting Tank to kiss the canvas. But watch out, Spence. If Gervonta Davis gets past Frank Martin, we know Spence becomes a fight that Tank would entertain. And it's already heating up as we speak. Both guys took digs at each other during the presser, and you can't miss out on what they had to say. It broke the internet. Vent. He don't like, no, no, we get in the chat. <laughs> that show is up. <laughs> you talk way too much, bro. <laughs> you talk way too much. 
<laughs> well, you back it up with who? Who you back it up with? What's your fighter? It could be either one. It don't matter to me. I'm here, <laughs> Yeah, you here. But you don't fight nobody, bro. Okay. 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 You don't fight nobody. You here for a check, brother. Who you fight for? You here for a check. You here for a You here for a check. Here for the check? That's a good shout because guys, Errol hasn't been in the ring since he got humbled by the one and only Terrence Crawford. And the guy's got to bring bread home somehow, right? But hey, at the end of the day, most fighters fight for a payday. Yeah, you can blame Floyd for that. But hey, Tank is not staying off this narrative. According to Gervonta, Errol does not even like Frank Martin. Now, isn't that interesting? Who are you telling Errol? Well, I was telling Errol. When? During a press conference, you said something when he was on the mic. He ain't for a check. So what did he say? And he don't even like them. He don't, he don't like them. Now let's see what our guy, Calvin Ford, trainer of Gervonta Davis, had to say about Errol backing Frank to sweep the floor with Tank. Calvin, uh, what do you think of, you know, Errol Spence? Obviously, he's, he's in Frank's corner. Uh -huh. But he's saying that Tank can't give away early rounds in this fight like he has with some other I fighters. I don't pay attention to that. Yeah. Guess what? Spawn and fighting is two different things. And y'all know how we carry you. Guess what? You can't make no mistakes from 1 to 12. Why do you think uh, Javante decided not to show up? He said something about the promotion. He's not liking it. Again, that's Javante. You know what I'm saying? Javon, how many times y'all heard Javante say so many different things? You know, so I leave that up to him. Let him deal with that. You know what I'm saying? But his trainer here, his team here, that means we what? We here. You know what I'm saying? Come fight night. Come weigh in. Look for a performance. A must-see moment was caught on camera during the press conference of Gervonta Davis versus Frank Martin when Tank reached out his hand for a handshake, but Spence turned a blind eye. I'm having a beer here. This is going to be a... What y'all laughing at? You know, I can't stop letting him be. He can talk. You know, that's just about all he can do. But come Saturday night, I guarantee you, Frank going to put on a great show and a great performance. He's ready for this moment. He's been ready for this moment for a long time. And Tank gave him the opportunity. So come Saturday night, I guarantee he's gonna put on a great show and a great performance and show everybody why he is the best 135 pounder in the world. And the new WA Westway champion of the world, Frank Martin. We're gonna give you a Father's Day gift, Daddy Martin, come Saturday night. Now that's gotta be embarrassing. But what's more embarrassing is that, imagine Frank Martin getting sparked out in the first round. Yeah, all that talking from Errol just so his fighter gets flatlined. If that's not embarrassing, then I don't know what is. I can already see the edits on TikTok. And get this, during their face-off, Gervonta Davis made Frank Martin flinch. Now you know what that means. The nerves are kicking in for Frank. I got you. Tank got him for sure. But here comes the interesting part. These two have clashed before and not just in the ring. They had a heated sparring session that's basically become legendary. And get this, the word on the street is that Frank Martin actually bested Tank Davis. Yep, you heard that right. Now, if you know anything about Tank Davis, you know he's got a killer rep in the boxing world. Everyone who sparred with him sings his praises. They're always hyping him up for his insane power and technique. But here's the plot twist. Frank Martin wasn't impressed. At all. Martin went into that sparring session with confidence and came out on top, shaking up everyone's expectations. While most fighters walk away from sparring with Davis full of respect, Martin walked away ready to take him down for real. What happened during that sparring session? He came in, playing, thinking shit was sweet, got clipped. 
Instagram. Yeah, you, that's you another thing. You never shoot. clipped me. What are you but talking about? I didn't clip you. No, you did not. You called me with a good shot. That's it. That happened in boxing. You so, never clipped me. I never shook or none of that. So you didn't what are you shake. talking about you shooting the shake. fucking room? You, you don't even hit that hard. You put me in the You don't even hit that hard, bro. You don't even hit that hard. You don't even hit that hard. I hit you with the left. You don't even hit that hard. What did you do? And you gonna split? I can see on. What did you do? I'm gonna split them open. That's cool. I promise you. I promise you. You got it. I promise you. What did you do? Why you so mad? I'm gonna break you up. See, I'm telling you. Every time I tell y'all something, you know what happened. It don't it happen? You know I'm telling you, I'm gonna break you up. I promise you, I'm gonna break you up. Y'all wanna know I something? Promise. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Show me Saturday. Show me Saturday on pussy. You got always Saturday. Freak that fake heart shit. This topic gets heated every time they talk about it. However, Tank did admit to the fact that Martin rocked him at the start, but that was about it. He's crazy. He's been running with that story for so long. He never wobbled. He just caught me with a good shot. You know why he caught me with a good shot? Because they was, they was like we had to make him get in the ring. Like he didn't want to spar. So once he didn't want to spar, like once we got in the ring, I jumped on him. And him being a southpaw, I, I, I wasn't, I, I mean, I wasn't, I ain't moved my head or nothing. I was just going like, no after. He just caught me with a good shot. Why didn't say nothing what happened after that? Like when I caught him and a, with a good shot, I like, and hurt him, and he wound up jumping out the ring. The drama around this bout is never ending, and the audience is digging it. Even Leonard. Ellerby took a few shots at Errol Spence Jr. Get this. That's been said. One is coming from Frank Martin's promoter, Errol Spence Jr. He says that Tank Davis is going to get dominated for 12 rounds. Dominated? Errol don't believe that dumb shit. I can promise you that. And then Frank Martin says, oh, I'm going to beat Tank's ass. Okay, I expect, I expect him to, he's in tremendous shape. We know Derek got him in great shape because Derek's a phenomenal trainer. But let's be real, let's be real. Okay, for starters, in, in 2017, do you know what Tank was doing? Tank became world champion. You know what Frank Martin was doing? He wasn't even professional yet. I didn't pass. Okay, so one thing about this boxing shit, you can't skip steps. It's something what we call experience. And you gain that over a period of time by fighting the top fighters and doing your thing. Again, I can't say enough about what I personally think that Frank's a good fighter. But there's a difference between good and being special. This man to my right, he's special. Everything that Frank Martin does good, Tank does better. And come Saturday night, don't blink. Because this shit could be over early. Now this guy knows how to talk for sure. But the question, can Tank back all that up? I mean, he's done it before every single time. But so has Martin. Both fighters are going into this fight with zero losses. But you know how the saying goes, somebody's O has got to go. And it could be either one of them. However, famous boxer Shakur Stevenson believes this fight only ends one way. And it's with Martin sleeping on the canvas. Before I let you get out of here, man, I only got you for a couple more minutes. Um, you know, Tank Tank keeps talking about with this Frank Martin fight. One one thing that's going to catch up with Martin is you started at 15 years old, 16, whatever it was. I started at seven or eight. And do you agree with that sentiment? Because you started at that age, too, around seven or eight. Do you have an advantage over a guy? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. I, I mean, he's not lying on... Um... Honestly, the way that I look at that fight, it's just levels. Like, it's levels to the fight. Um, Tank, he going to go in there, fill him out, figure out that he's really not on his level, and then he going to annihilate him and feel like he's on top of the world because he annihilated somebody that's a C-level. The odds are stacked against Frank Martin, but it's a mistake to underestimate the guy. This undefeated fighter is poised to demonstrate his skills on the biggest stage. This is his make or break moment. If he succeeds, it'll be a historic achievement, crowning him as the new king of the division. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos.
and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.